Good morning, everybody, and welcome in. I hope you all are having a great day. Today, we're going to be making some ribs. Um, I'm not going to show you anything that's groundbreaking. This is pretty standard stuff, and but I'm just going to show you how I do ribs and provide some cooking content because we haven't done any in a while. And imagine me recording a whole bunch of this and realizing it was all vertical and not horizontal because I'm doing it on my phone. Anyways, welcome in. We're going to show you how I do these ribs. We got a new rub that we're trying out. I could make my own, but I like to buy rubs and try different ones from the store. So we got a new rub we're trying out. We got some beautiful pork ribs, some nice rib tips. And I'm gonna show you what I did with them because I actually already have them pre-prepared. And then we're gonna show you how I do them on the smoker and what I do with them. And uh, I hope you enjoy. So first things first, the first thing that we did, and you see here we got rib tips. We got our pork ribs. Now, excuse me. Uh, I got these at a local butcher shop. They were whole racks of ribs. The butcher broke them down for me, removed the silver skin. All of them are trimmed up. They're ready to go. Some of the uh, pieces in here are just flat meat. We're going to be using that and some beans that we're going to make later, which I'll show you guys. Also, uh, you know, the rib tips themselves. Some of those, some of the smaller pieces will probably go into the beans as well. So they're going to smoke for a little bit, but then they're going into the beans. The other thing today, we're trying Sweet Preacher Pork Rub from Fire and Smoke Society. No, they're not paying me for this. Found it at the store. It looked good, sounded good. So we're giving it a try today. Um, we're going to get the smoker fired up, get these ready to go. They're going on at 225. We're going to do the 321 method. We're going to add a few twists along the way. So stay tuned. We'll be back with you in a few minutes here. Once the smoke is up to temperature, I'll show you what we're cooking on and how we're going to do this. So we're back and we're getting ready to put the ribs on the smoker. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the smoker that we're using. I will shift the camera around. We're probably going to take a little tour. So let me get this off the tripod and turn it around and we'll show you what we're working with today. Okay, so today we are cooking on the Masterbuilt 1050. This is a gravity fed charcoal smoker. Over here we've got a, a chute that we load with charcoal and wood chunks that as it burns lowers, produces smoke. There's a controller over here with a fan that, that controls the fan so we can keep our temps. We can even monitor this from our phone. Uh, everything's set right now. I had it set at 225. It's running a little bit hotter, 227, 228, with the charcoal that I've got in there. Today we're using, uh, I'm using the Kingsford, the Kingsford Professional. I usually don't like Kingsford, but the, um, the ones with the wood chips in it's really good, and I'm giving this a try because Costco had it on sale for a good price. I had two bags of it. The other thing that we're gonna do we're going to open up down here. Now, I've done this in the chute as well, but we're opening this. We're going to drop a couple of chunks. We're smoking these today with the charcoal, but also with uh, hickory. So, we're going to throw a couple of hickory wood chunks into our uh, into here to get a little bit of extra smoke. And that'll allow us to get some good actual wood, hardwood smoke on there, not just the charcoal. Open this up, burp out a lot of the smoke, the excess smoke. As you can see, there's a lot of grilling space here. We have like a thousand and fifty inches of grilling space. I am gonna go get a couple of uh, a pan to put on here that'll allow us to uh, not make a complete and total mess. And then uh, we'll, I'll should, we'll put the ribs on the smoker. We're gonna close this down and we're gonna let these cook. And they're gonna go for about an hour. When we when we'll come back, we'll check them. We're gonna spritz them. We'll show you the progress as we go, and uh, we're gonna be spritzing them with a, something a little bit fancy today. So stay tuned. Now is where the magic's gonna happen. We're gonna be spritzing these ribs, and we're spritzing them today with Jim Beam Apple Whiskey. Get our spray bottle here, filled it up with a bit of apple whiskey. This is what I like to do with my ribs versus apple juice versus you know any of that other stuff. Usually I'll use a peach whiskey. I prefer peach, but the apple will do and it's been hard finding peach whiskey lately. So let's take a look at the ribs. Let's see how they're doing. Give them a little bit of a spritz and then we're gonna give them another hour. Alrighty, as you can see, these are coming along nicely. They dried up a little bit from being on the smoker. We're gonna give them a nice spritz of of the apple whiskey just enough give them a little bit of a, a hit there this is going to flavor these ribs really good all 
Alrighty, so we've spritzed the ribs. They're gonna go for another hour. In the meantime, we're gonna chill, got a few things to do around the house, probably gonna mow the lawn, and then check back in about an hour, and uh, you know, we'll see how they're looking. Spritz them again, and then get ready to start making the beans. We're back, had a little bit of a wardrobe change. It's getting sunny, had to change the angle of the camera, so now I got sunglasses. And like I said, I went and mowed the lawn while these have been cooking. It's been about an hour now. Uh, I've been mowing the lawn, got the smell of hickory smoke, pork ribs, it's been amazing. So now we're gonna take a look at them. We're gonna spritz them again with more apple whiskey, and then we're gonna let them go for another hour while we run some errands. So let's take a look at these ribs. See, these are getting some really nice color. They're starting to look really tasty. So what we're gonna do, once again, we got our apple whiskey here, and we're gonna hit these with a good spritz of the uh, of the apple whiskey. We're gonna set another timer for another hour. We're gonna let them cook. And then when we get back, we're gonna add even more flavor when we wrap the ribs for about an hour, hour and a half. So stay tuned, we'll be back soon. So we're back inside. We've commandeered my wife's studio. You know, all this stuff behind me is hers. Uh, we've commandeered my wife's studio. So we're gonna start working on the beans we're gonna get them ready. Even though they're not gonna be going on yet, we'll have them ready ahead of time. So that way we just gotta throw them on the smoker, you know, chop up the few pieces of the, the rib tips and whatnot we're gonna put in the beans. And then just throw them on the smoker and let them cook with the, with the ribs. Alrighty, so we are gonna get started on the beans. This is gonna be really simple. We're not doing anything, again, not really reinventing the wheel. Uh, we're going to be making these pretty simply. We're just dressing up, we got we got Bush's baked beans here, you know, the original. Yeah, I meant to, didn't mean to spill any. And we've got a cast iron Dutch oven. I like using my cast iron Dutch oven when I'm cooking on the grill because A, it goes on the grill. B, it doesn't have, like, this. these foil pans are okay. But I prefer using the Dutch ovens. So that way, you know, you're not getting aluminum leaching into your food. It doesn't change anything. Not that it really ever does, but so we got our beans in the pan and I need to go get a fork. So I will be right back. See, this is where I think, gotta think ahead and I thought I thought ahead and I didn't think ahead. So next thing we're gonna do, onion. Uh, I bought my onion pre-chopped. Not even gonna stress over that. No need to cry. So we're gonna put some onion in here. You know, good amount of chopped onion. Then, what I'm gonna do that's a little bit different. I've got roasted red pepper strips. These are absolutely amazing. So we're gonna put some roasted red peppers in here. Um, these are pretty, these ones here are kinda whole. So what we'll wanna do, just break them down a little bit. These ones were the whole ones and I had to use them up so that's why we're throwing them in here. So we're gonna break down the bigger pieces. You can see some of these are really big strips. I'm not gonna put a lot in but I want to put a good amount. So break these up. And yes, folks, I do wash my hands before doing all of this stuff. And it's only gonna be me and my wife eating. If I get sick, I get sick. No, I'm kidding. I do wash my hands. I do keep myself clean for doing this. Um, but I don't have gloves. So we're gonna throw a few more bell pepper strips in here. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna start to dress it up with more flavors. So let's stir this up. Make sure we can see some of the bell pepper in there, some of the, some of the uh, roasted red peppers. So we've got the onion, we've got the beans, we've got the peppers. Now, spicy brown mustard. You can use any mustard that you want, but we're using Golden's. We're using Golden Spicy Brown Mustard. We're gonna take and give it you know, a, a fair amount here. Not too much, but enough. We'll stir that in. Now that we've got that all stirred up. Next, we're gonna add in jalapeno ketchup. We're gonna give these, these beans are gonna have a little bit of a kick. Make sure I did take, I'm pretty sure I took the, yeah, I did take the thing off. All right, we're gonna give this we're gonna put even more of this in. That should be a good amount. Again, 
just gotta add more flavor. You gotta add more flavor to the beans. In fact, I might add a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little bit more. We'll add a little bit more of the, uh, we'll add a little bit more of the jalapeno ketchup. Now, one thing I'm not adding to these is bacon. Why? Because number one, we've got bacon in here. We've got bacon already in here. It came with the beans. Might add a little bit more brown sugar, because uh, we can. But I'm not gonna add any more bacon, because we already got that. And once we pull the rib, or once we hit the three hour mark on the ribs, those rib tips and some of the, uh, the, the flat pieces, we're gonna pull those off. And we're going to then um, chop them up and into the beans before we put the beans on the, on the, on the smoker. So they're going to get the smoked meat in there. They're going to get some smoked flavor. See, I just added a little bit of brown sugar. I'm not adding too much. Uh, we will be using some more brown sugar in here in a little bit. But that takes care of the beans. That is all we're going to do. That's all we're going to add to them. We're going to let them sit and we're going to let them, you know, get those flavors to mix a little bit while we wait for the, the timer to go off to wrap our ribs. And that's when we'll pick up again, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, so we're back inside. Don't mind the noise outside. Other in laws doing some uh, weed whacking after I got done doing all the mowing. So she's just cleaning up, trimming up a few things, helping me out a little bit while I do this. Um, next up, we got the ribs. They're done smoking. They've gone for three hours. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the ribs and the rib tips and we're going to add more flavor and wrap them put in some foil for a while. So let me show you how I what I do with these ribs. Alrighty, so we got our ribs, we gotta lay out some tin foil here. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna take some light brown sugar. Let me adjust this a little bit because I think that we're just a little bit there we go. We're gonna take some uh, light brown sugar. And we're just going to take, we're going to put a little bit on here. We're not going to go overboard on it. It's really just going to add a little bit more flavor. Let's pat that out. So we got our light brown sugar. I'm going to put down four pats of butter. It's about four tablespoons of butter. We're going to take and drizzle just a little bit of honey. So let's give it a drizzle of honey. Call it a day on that. And then spritz with more apple whiskey. You're sensing a pattern here. You're not wrong, we like our whiskey. Uh, then we're gonna take and put the, the ribs on there. We're putting them meat side down. Meat side down. We're using heavy duty aluminum foil, so we're not gonna double wrap these. We're just gonna wrap them, uh, you know, we're just gonna wrap them in one set of foil. There's no need to double wrap. We'll set these back in here, and we're gonna be we're gonna repeat the process again with the uh, other rack, and just for the sake of not getting any on my hands, we're just gonna pour some out on here. You know, not dipping my hands in the brown sugar after touching the ribs. One, two, three. Four, get that brown sugar spread out. Get our rack of ri oh, honey. Totally forgot. Again, don't mind the noise. We're doing a little bit of yard work at the same time out there running a weed eater. I apologize for that. But it is what it is. And again, I'm, you know, I'm even thinking here. So we're going to spritz with more whiskey. Okay, now our ribs are ready. They're gonna get put back on here, wrapped up. Now we're only going to be do these wrapped for about an hour, hour and a half. I don't like going the full two hours on them because personally I like my ribs to pull off the bone. I don't like them to fall off the bone. I want a clean bite on my rib. I don't want to pull every piece of meat off. Last but not least, we have our rib tips. Now these are the flaps. These are the pieces that we're gonna use in our, uh, these are the pieces we're gonna end up cutting up and putting into our beans. So we're gonna set those aside. 
That leaves us this last, last bit of rib tips here. Some of these are a little bit thinner than others. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same treatment again. I need to go get some, I need to go uh, slice up some more butter, but we're gonna throw some brown sugar in here. We're gonna throw some honey in here. Let's just drizzle these a little bit. Let me get the butter. Okay, so we got another small stick of butter. We're gonna throw those pieces in here. And then, uh, of course, more whiskey. We're going to take and uh, give these a stir. Not that this won't melt and coat the bottom, but you know, it doesn't hurt to stir them up, maybe get a little bit more honey on, more pieces. You know, get these done in the way that we want them. So we got that done. We're gonna cover these with foil. We're gonna put everything back on the grill. Then we're gonna chop up the meat, throw it into the beans. And then we got one more thing we're gonna be making today. And we'll show you that when we get back. Okay, so we have the rib tips in the pan with some honey, some brown sugar, some butter. They're cooking. We have the ribs wrapped with the same thing, also with a little bit more whiskey. And we have our beans that we prepared earlier. They're all on the smoker right now. We've got one more thing to complete this meal, aside from a deviled egg potato salad, which I bought at the store because I didn't feel like making one. Uh, we're gonna make corn. Now, yeah, it's corn. It's corn on the cob, but we're gonna dress it up and make it taste really good. I'm gonna show you what I do for corn on the cob. Alrighty, so we got our corn here. We're gonna juice this up with three ingredients. We have, first of all, we have melted butter. We have freshly sliced lime. We're gonna use two slices for each ear. And then we have tahine. Tahine is like one of my favorite seasonings of all time. This stuff has lime in it, but we're gonna use it. I'm gonna use the extra lime anyways chili, salt, pepper, spices. This is amazing on fruits and vegetables. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna, baste, uh, we're gonna baste some butter on our corn. Give it a good coating. This is salted butter. Uh, it's pretty much salted butter for everything. If it calls for unsalted, I'll use unsalted, but mostly I use salted. So we baste that, give that a, give that a decent coat. Season generously with tahine. We'll roll it, we'll roll it in the, uh, the excess here. Add a couple of lime slices. We're just gonna add a couple. This will just season it a little bit. And then roll it up in tin foil. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now these we're gonna set aside for right this minute. Once I'm done making them all, they're gonna go on the smoker and they're gonna roast until the ribs are done. So probably about an hour or two, cause it's a low heat. So they'll be nice and soft and tender and perfectly cooked. Okay, so our ribs and rib tips are pretty much ready to come out of the wrap. They've been wrapped for a little over an hour. I let them go a little bit longer. We're gonna unwrap them right now, put them back on the smoker. Also check the beans. Okay, so as you can see, we got our beans. We got our pan with the rib tips. We got our ribs. We have our corn on the cob that's sitting up there that we just made a little while ago. These beans, they look and smell phenomenal. We're gonna get them out of the way real quick while we deal with the ribs, and then we'll put them back on the smoker. All right, we got those ribs unwrapped. Look at the color on these. Look at the color on those ribs. They are absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna take the rib tips out of the pan now as well. These have a nice color to them. You know, they sat and they soaked up some of that extra moisture, got a little bit more tender. Some of them darkened up just a little bit, which is fine. No matter that they're a little bit dark. What we're gonna do right now is we're pulling them out. We're gonna let them sit on the, uh, we're gonna let them sit up. Because now we want them to set up again. We want them to kind of dry out a little. They're moist, they're gonna be tender, they're gonna be juicy, they're gonna be delicious. But we want them to sit just for a little bit. This also gives us a chance to uh, adjust where everything is sitting and just have, and have the beans 
over on this side where they'll get a little bit more heat. We're probably gonna grab a little bit more foil to wrap up that one end of the corn. We wanna keep the corn, you know, we're gonna, that's dripping out at that end. So let's take a look. Okay, make sure that that's wrapped. We don't wanna lose any too much of our moisture. We're gonna wrap, we're gonna put a little bit more tin foil on the end of these. But for now, everything looks good. We're gonna close this up and we're gonna cook for another hour. have been out of the wrap for a while so i have the rib tips beans have been going we got the corn cooking we're gonna give these a coat of barbecue sauce now they don't need barbecue sauce these ribs would be perfectly fine without it but we do like them with barbecue sauce here so we're gonna use two different kinds of barbecue sauce one is the kinder's zero sugar barbecue sauce because my wife prefers low sugar to no sugar barbecue sauce the other barbecue sauce we're gonna hit these ribs with is a peach barbecue sauce that I got from uh, the local grocery store. It's the store brand, tastes really good. We're probably gonna save, uh, I'm not gonna bother um, saucing the rib tips. We're gonna let those stand on their own, but we will be saucing the ribs. So let's see how everything's doing. So as you can see, our ribs look freaking gorgeous. Our rib tips are nice and good. They're, they're nice and soft and tender. These are gonna be amazing. Uh, our beans are really good are looking really good the corns cooking nicely in fact it's it's gonna be done here shortly what we're gonna do is we're gonna give these ribs a coating of sauce on the top and then we're just going to let the we're, we're not gonna flip them we're just gonna coat just the top that way you get a flavor of the rib and the rub on the bottom you get some barbecue sauce on the top and uh, that's the peach so I'm gonna hit this rib, this rack in the back. We're gonna give it a coat of the sugar-free sauce. It tastes really good, like I do like it. But this peach one, no, this peach one is, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have to work on making my own sauces. I do wanna make my own barbecue sauces. So we're probably gonna look at starting to do recipes and playing with that as this the barbecue season progresses now this is my problem that I have with a lot of these sugar-free ones you see how that's really thin on there um, I don't like I don't like how thin they tend to be I like the thicker and the, and the sugar really adds the thickness like these ones here well they're gonna be a little bit I take that back these are gonna be a little bit uh, this barbecue sauce is a little thin too but We'll get a good coat of this on there. We'll let it sit. We're gonna let these cook, continue to cook for probably a good 10 minutes. Let that sauce sit on there, caramelize a little bit. And uh, what we'll end up doing is uh, basting these a few times with, with the extra sauce. So we got the sauce on there. We're gonna let these sit. These rib tips, they're pretty much, they're they are pretty much good. Like, there's nothing wrong with these things are ready to go. We'll provide barbecue sauce to dip those into. I'm not gonna add barbecue sauce. Give the beans one last stir. Make sure we take the, uh, <laughs> we take the spoon out. Close it up, and we're gonna let it go for about 10, 15 more minutes, and then we'll baste them again. All right, so we're back inside. Ribs have been rested. Everything's ready to go. Wife just got home, she's ready to eat, I'm ready to eat. We're gonna cut up these ribs, take a look at them, try one, and uh, then we're gonna go eat dinner. Alrighty, so we just cut into the first rack of ribs. I totally forgot to hit the record button. The color on these is absolutely beautiful. Look at that smoke ring, you know, nice and juicy that pork looks. We're gonna cut up the rest of this rack and then we're gonna give one a try. Alrighty, we got all the ribs cut up, everything's ready to go. We're going to be eating shortly, but I'm going to do a taste test here on, on video for you guys. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, I almost forgot. we got to do the taste test. So, we're going to grab... Let's just grab one of these. So, you can see, that is a beautiful, beautiful pork rib. Uh, let's see how this tastes. Mmm. That's phenomenal. You get the rub on the bottom, you get the barbecue sauce and rub on the top. You get a little hint of that whiskey plus the smoke. And a nice clean bite. Like I said, I don't like ribs that fall off the bone. 
I want them to bite clean off the bone. I don't want to pull all the meat off in one bite, and these are perfect. Thank you again for watching. Again, please do subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. We will be doing more cooking stuff. We'll be doing more outdoor grilling. And also, a lot more streaming content now that we're on YouTube. And a bunch of video game stuff. So, thank you all for watching. Hope I'll see you all soon. Have a great day.